This is Twit. There's uh, potentially some precedent being set when it comes to what is considered testimony versus what is not. Oh, yeah, this is big. biometrics. Yeah, we've kind of thought this would be the case. So the issue is, can a police officer say, give me your thumb, buddy, and push it on your phone and unlock your phone? Or hold it up to you, unlock it, and then look at your phone. Can they do that? Can they do it? Because, of course, we have a right to not incriminate ourselves. Uh, and so that is where the the disagreement happens. Is putting my fingerprint down or looking at the phone uh, potentially incriminating myself? And I, it was interesting that it was based on cognition. I thought that was, that was a, a fascinating sort of uh, crux of the argument. It, it, does it count as cognitive... Um, is is it is it cognitive to actually take your fingerprint and put it on the phone to sort of unlock what's in your brain, which is where the uh, right to not incriminate yourself right. is protected? This is kind of what uh, courts have ruled in the past as well. Uh, f- there's kind of standing precedent. The police can't come into your home and say, unlock that safe, brother. You can't get you to 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 do what's in your mind. They don't have acts. They don't have legal access to the contents of your mind. They can't force you to do that. But they could take a hair for DNA, mm-hmm. right? Uh, they could take a thumbprint, right? So the judge, and I think probably correctly ruled, but it's good for us to know this. That's the thing. Know the the implication there because that could mean that you would have to hand over that. Now, this is the time where I tell you with an iPhone, if you press and hold all three buttons, the uh, volume up, volume down, and the side button all at once, it turns your phone into, uh, well, it, it locks your phone in such a way that face ID or touch ID doesn't work and you actually have to type in your passcode. And Apparently, as it stands, passcode does require cognition and therefore is more protected as things stand uh, in a way that you would not be required to incriminate yourself. It's interesting. This is a Ninth Circuit uh, Court of Appeals judgment. And in their ruling, they said, to date, neither the Supreme Court nor any of our sister circuits have addressed whether the compelled use of a biometric to unlock an electronic device is testimonial that's the debate over whether you're testifying against yourself or if it's just passively giving a fingerprint or a hair the the panel said yeah it's not testimonial it's just like taking a fingerprint um you can be forced to use your thumb so this is really important have a good password on your Mm -hmm. phone you could actually turn off face id or thumbprint but i think it's so convenient people don't want to turn that off but know that gesture that Mike had just mentioned to force your phone to go into the mode where you have to give it a password. And then in theory, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can't say, son, what's your password? And you, you could say, well, uh, the United States constitution, fifth amendment says, I don't have to give that to you, sir. And now depending on <laughs> how adamant they are, because what they, you know, you, you could be at the border and they could say, well, okay, well, you, you just rest cool your heels there in uh, airport jail for a while. Yeah. We'll see what Who you, will what break you first, say. Right. Game uh, of chicken. I think it's probably, if you're crossing the border, good idea not to have anything incriminating on your any of your electronics. I think that's a good bit of advice. Maybe don't have anything incriminating on any of your electronics ever. At all. Ever. What a thought. Huh. What a thought. I'll have to keep that in there's mind. A, there's an idea. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've we actually talked about this over the years uh, because there hasn't been a definitive judgment. But I think the general consensus is anything you have in your mind, like a password, is protected. Mm-hmm. That's your private property. And uh, they can't compel you to reveal that. So that's good news. Uh, the other thing, kind of related, uh, is that the FISA spy program has been reauthorized and, Senator, and President Biden has signed that into law. That was the renewal of Section 702. Now, there are, were quite a few amendments to this that added some features. In fact, uh, there was some concern that it extends the FISA to cover more than it used to. Mm. Senator uh, Ron Wyden uh, and Josh Hawley introduced an amendment that would have taken language out. That ex- and this is, the, this is a little tricky, but I'll, exp- I'll explain it. There's language in the bill that expands the definition of an electronic 
communications service provider, which would normally be Twitter, Facebook, your Verizon, to anyone who has access to equipment that is being used or may be used to transmit or store wire electronic communications. In other words... Anybody with a device that can communicate. Yeah, or your apartment landlord. Yeah. Because they can get into the basement. There's that device. There's all sorts of... It extends it quite... Uh, Wait, yeah, can you read that again? Anyone? Anyone who has access, access to equipment being used to transmit or store electronic communications. I have access to a router, so I you should have also be included in yeah, that, right? You, you are. are included in that. You are. That's basically everybody. So they introduced this amendment to say, uh, Ron Wyden, who's very smart, uh, introduced this, but it failed. Oh, good. No. No? They were trying to block that. That's in the bill. That's in oh, the law Oh, it failed. Now. The block was failed. It failed to block it. Dang it. Um, the Senator uh, uh, Ron, Rand Paul and Dick Durbin introduced amendments imposing warrant requirements on surveilling Americans. Failed. <laughs> failed. Okay. Uh, so it's passed, and it gives the, the law enforcement this vast power to surveil us, which they've had. They've had ever since 9-11. This, this is just more this is the Patriot enshrining it, right? Yeah, well, it's just renewing. It has to be renewed uh, on a regular basis. It has been renewed. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. Hope you enjoyed this little snippet from Ask the Tech Guys. Of course, you can get the full show for free. Subscribe in your favorite podcast client uh, or visit our website, twit.tv slash ATG. You'll also find links right below this window right here. Hey.